What? Either that or she heard you telling that story on YouTube about her shit in her pants. No, I didn't do that. You want to do it now? No. Now's your chance. No. This is your opportunity. No. Get even. No. Time your boss walked in and said she shit her pants on the way to Stop. work. Stop! <laughs> I thought the story was hilarious. The truth. It was. The fact that she would tell you that is just mind-boggling. This is what I hear. Let's tell Subway's customers about what, they, what the lady who made their sandwich Stop. was doing. Right before she got there. <laughs> Side of the road, wiped herself with her own underwear. <laughs> Why? Because she got Stop. drunk the night before and shit herself in the way. And that was not me, by the way. That was Gina. Uh huh. Yeah, it's always somebody else. Stop it! Yeah. Okay. You know, this never happened to me. Some hypothetical friend of mine. Okay. Stop! You know it was her. I don't know. This I never met. Stop! I never met this you woman. You just said on there that she told me the story, but it happened yeah. to her. Yeah. So. That's the only corroboration I have. You said it, not her. Stop! You should have taken a security camera footage from Subway and brought it over and you showed it to me. <laughs> I heard down the story. So what's the rest of your mysterious diseases? That's it. Well, there's the mental ones. We all know about those. Turn up! What? Oh, my niece wants to be a psychologist. <laughs> I can understand that. With you as an example, <laughs> she understands that there is a real need for that kind of thing. And she'll make a lot of money. Not from you. She'll make it from the state who will, <laughs> she'll bill for treating you when they eventually do lock you away. Uh, yeah. Shut up. My sister said if you can uh, unravel her, then you can unravel anybody. <laughs> there you go. Probably got you figured out pretty good, too. Kids are good at that. Uh, you know when someone's full of shit, let's face it. You are full of shit. Sorry, I'm not. Oh, please. How do you figure? <laughs> You don't like to work. You would like to sit home all day and not work. Well, yeah, who does like to work? But you like to pretend around the kid, of course, that you do. No. Because otherwise you'd be a bad example. Not really. So she knows about your attitude concerning work. Basically, yeah. Uh, and she knows I hate people. <laughs> really? Go on. What else? Now I've lost my train of thought. Okay, you hate work. You hate people. <laughs> Um, you have to be disciplined for stealing. I do not. You told me yourself you stole from Hannaford's. Candy and chocolates and stuff. From, from your, your aisle there, the little candy display. By your register. You told me that. Oh, yeah. yeah well, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I actually paid, like, just not the full price. <laughs> I put in what I had. Really? Yeah, that works. <laughs> Guess that's not stealing then, huh? <laughs> yeah. Stop it! What? You, not me. I didn't tell you to steal. I didn't go over there and say, Terry, take that Hershey bar and stuff it in your mouth and don't pay for it. You did that on your own. Nice. Of course, we already knew about the stealing from the bus boys and the missing tip money anyway. And then we also know you stole people's lunches and then threw them no, out. Well, no, I didn't steal their lunch. I just threw them out. Yeah, because there's nothing you wanted to eat in there. No, because they pissed me off because they kept doing it to me. So they had it coming. I was paying them. Huh? Never mind. Shut up. <laughs> well, at least you were nice enough to feed Scott. Yeah, one hamburger. I don't know where he's coming up with this three hundred. He told me for three weeks you were feeding him at least a hundred bucks. He's His full of words shit. on YouTube in an earlier video you can watch hundred bucks a week. And he's full of shit. Okay, this is probably never fucking happened. Okay, and, and he go. knows it. Okay, I'm, oh, don't look at me. He's the one that said it, not me. Right. I'm gonna play this back to him now, so I don't he can. Care. I took him for one hamburger up at the diner, and that was it. You know that feeding him is like feeding stray cats, right? They never go away. Because there might be free food coming. They're going to come around all the time. I fed him that one time, and that was it. I don't know. I'm just saying what he said. I didn't I say it. I don't care what he said. Maybe in his mind I fed him. Of course, him I do know the waiter up there, you know. I don't care. I fed him once. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I think so, I would know how much I fed him. Well, he said something about drinking and stuff, so I don't yeah, really know. Yeah, bullshit. Something about him, you buying him drinks at the, at the Fiddler's? I bought him no drinks, ever. Well, you, never, you never buy drinks for anybody, I know no. that. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, luscious like you never ever buy alcohol for other people. Went right over your head, didn't it? What? What I just said. <laughs> you just totally said. went over your head. Never mind. What'd you say? Never mind. Tell me. Why? You're not going to get it a second time either. Tell me. I said luscious like you never buy alcohol for other people. So you call me a lush. 
I got it. <laughs> Finally. Dick. Only took a little while. Had to work its way in there. Past all the haze and tobacco. <laughs> all the pot smoke. It's not. And the drug induced haze from the no. pills. Yeah. It's kind of a lot to say about you, actually. Like what? Well, the stories. What? You were doing a strip dance on top of the tables of fiddlers? Bullshit! Get the fuck out of here. That's what I told her. Who the hell would want to see that? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that girlfriend at Billy's may be, you know. She was hot. Stop it! All right, I'm just saying. She's still with her? Stop. What was her name? Shut up. I forget. Stop! Oh, what? I just want to, I can't remember her Stop name. Stop it! It's got an old shit. I'm getting blanks. I can't remember shit. Stop! I gotta look through the old tapes. Now I'm gonna. You just hit me again. <laughs> what I tell you is gonna do if you did that. I'm gonna find those embarrassing videos of you from three or four years ago. I'll put them on YouTube. What embarrassing videos? <laughs> Give me <laughs> my cat back! <laughs> Stop the car! I thought you were taking my cat. Running up and down the street, chasing a car. For a black fur coat you thought was a cat. <laughs> well, it looked like my cat. <laughs> Anybody else would have gone in the house to see if the cat was actually gone. I wanted to make sure I caught you before you did something with her. What would I do with it? I don't know. I should have gone up like 60 miles an hour and thrown the coat out the window. That would have really got you going. <laughs> well, you could never possibly run that fast and see it, but still. You have seen in the distance something black and furry flying out the window, bouncing down the road. Oh, man, you'd have flipped out. <laughs> Then when you were chasing the lawnmower, because I took your chair. Yeah. Up I and down the road. I my chair back. <laughs> up and down the road I six just times. I my chair. Yes, I do. Up and down the road six times. Thought you were going to have a heart attack. I was waiting to film that. That would have been funny as hell. Oh, and then there was a time I sneaked up on you in the car. Yeah. I got that video. <laughs> that was funny, though. Did it twice, actually. <laughs> I just remember the one time when I went flying up in the air and they started the car. And uh -huh. <laughs> then I hate you all! That video. You didn't have that on video. You didn't take, no, you did not. You didn't have Do you not there. understand what a dash cam is? Yeah. You know that my car's a crippled one. Or it wasn't the time my current one isn't, but the one I had then was. Oh. It's on there. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice to see on there. That shows you what's your best. <laughs> and then all the videos of you telling I all those. in my car. Those sorry little stories about, oh, everything from dancing with the 12-year-old suggestively to all the reasons you got fired. I, I told you about that. I did not dance the 12-year-old suggestively. I always Actually, I... Like I, uh, I always dance like that. He happened to be there. He happened to be 12. That's not my problem. So you always dance like a $2 hooker? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Talk like one. <laughs> Yeah, so we got good stuff like that in those videos. They're loaded with them. Gonna have a lot of fun with that. Only thing I do, I have to get the, uh, I have to transfer them first to disc, then I can load them up to YouTube. How do you always do that? Do what? I always start out not wanting to be on YouTube, and you always manage to get me on fucking YouTube. Because you want to be immortal and famous, that's I why. I don't! Yes, you do. No, I don't. You do want to be immortal and famous. You're already two, three hours of you on there, so what the hell does this make? The whole world knows you now. Terry the Terrible, they're going to call you. Shut the fuck up. You see? The one that swears Shut like a up. sailor. <laughs> watches porn like a pervert. Shut the fuck up. Then the swearing like a sailor. Shut up. <laughs> Notice you didn't refute the porn thing. Shut up. <laughs> hey, you want to know about... That lady is fat. <laughs> that is the pot calling the kettle black if ever I heard it. Look. Put the video on her. Wait until she turns around. <laughs> she has turned around. No, we need to get her full stomach. <laughs> no, I don't want to see that. <laughs> I've been taping a fat lady for the last hour. Shut the fuck up! When it swears, no less. With Come little on, kids around. around. With little, I'm not gonna keep watching all Wait, day. Wait, hold on, she's almost done. That's cruel. <laughs> you know that? You, you of all people, making fun of somebody else. <laughs> Are you so skinny you can afford to do that? I can't see now. The car's in the way. Oh, come on! The car's in the way. I can't see now. Hey, so I put the car in the way of the fat So lady. you're such a lightweight, you can afford to call somebody else fat. You do understand what the pot calling the kettle black means, right? Yeah. What does it mean? 
I know what it means. What does it mean? Stop. What does it mean? Mm. What does it mean? You don't know. I do so. If you did, you'd say so. It means say it in the same thing that you are. Uh, so what you're saying you're, you're fat is what you're saying. And you're making fun of somebody. <laughs> give, me, give me that. There. Actually, that's just an empty case. <laughs> so what you're saying is that you are allowed to make fun of somebody else who's fat because you're fat. Yeah. So do you like it when other people make fun of you? It's kind of like when a black person, you know, put this on. <laughs> Well, we know your we know your opinion about African Americans. That I've heard before. You're as racist as they come. I am not. Oh, bullshit! But it's kind of like when a black person you know, makes fun of other black people. It's like the same thing. And what do you used to say about that lady? But why do they get mad when white people make fun of them? Then I don't know. Ask, same the, ask, thing. ask somebody who's black. I don't know. What did you used to call that lady that worked with you at Hannaford? My little. Oh, she didn't worry me. She was my friend. I said she was a nice little black girl. <laughs> Thank you for saying that on video. Shut up. Thank